Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from the uh, tower back here. Uh, I'm getting ready to get out there and climb these uh, stairs. Uh, I've got it all to myself except one other guy. Uh, he just parked his little scooter there, and he's going up and down them stairs. I don't know if you can still see him uh, or if you can see those stairs, but I went to the gym. I just had to check in and tell you guys a funny story. Uh, yesterday here at the park, day before yesterday, I did some push-ups. I called them girlies because they're inclined. They're not flat on the ground. Let me tell you, these are manlies. These ain't girlies. I did about 75 of them on a picnic table. I put my hands down. That's a good foot or two off the ground. And I put my feet back and I, I brought my chest all the way down. And I bang out like 15 or 20. I did several sets, uh, somewhere around 75 of them. And then uh, later, yesterday, I did that again. And I felt it a little bit, but I wasn't that sore. This morning, I woke up. Holy cow, I think I talked about it this morning in morning chat. I mean, I needed some Advil or some Tylenol. I was so sore. So I just left the gym about an hour ago. And I said, well, you know, you got to you gotta keep forging ahead. And, uh, you know, I'd like to get these muscles all, you know, uh, firmed up. So I got down on the work bench, uh, the weight bench. And, you know, where you lay down on, it's about a foot, about the same height off the ground as a uh, picnic table bench. And I put my feet out and I, I put my arms down and, oh my gosh, I couldn't even drop down an inch. Because if I did, well, I did, I felt like I was going to fall right to my face. My muscles were so sore. I mean, a little kid can punch me right here, right now, and I'd probably fall to the ground and cry. I'm telling you, they're so sore. So what did I do? I, I did do like these little in and out push-ups where I went down about that far, you know, maybe three, four inches, just to try to get the blood and the muscles stretched out. And I stood up and I'm stretching. Oh, it even hurts right now. And then I finally got all the way down. I dropped myself down real slow. I said, there ain't no getting up. There's no pushing my body weight up. I cannot do it. So I said, you got to do it. So I did it. And then I came back down and I'm doing them slow. Oh, you know, after like I did 10 and I stopped. And normally I do like 15 or 20, you know, before my next set. That's like the maximum I can do. Um, you know, I can't do like right now 50 push-ups. So 15 or 20 is a lot. When I did them the other day at the uh, park here, I banged them out. You know, it was my first time and, uh, you know, no big deal. Then... After I did 10, I stood up and I you know, walked it off for a minute and I got down and did 10 more, got a little easier, but hurt 10 more. I did 40. I did four sets of 10. Man, I can't wait to get past the soreness and, and that'll happen. And then I'll be able to do 50 or hundred of these like, like that. But man, when you first start out working out with weights and you overexert, your leg, I did the calves one time. I will never do that again. I, I'll never forget that. I did these calf exercises. My calves, I couldn't walk. I couldn't go to work. I was really young. I think I was in the car business. I was in a fetal position for like three days. You can mess yourself up so bad with muscles that you haven't used. So just let it be a warning. If you're uh, inspired to hit the gym and you haven't been in a while and you're going to do some weights, or you're inspired to do these push-ups that I talk about, just do like 20 the first day and then the next day because I did 75 and 75 again or something like that the next day. And then the today, oh my gosh. But, you know, you got to get through it. You got to be tough. So I'm going to get out here and do these steps now and climb that up, try to lose some LBs. I told you guys I was 202 the other day. Well, I weighed today, I was 204. So I don't get it. You know, uh, I've been around 205 to 200 for actually a few years. Um, my lowest weight as an adult was 180 uh, sometime back. I think it was about three, four years ago. I was golfing a lot here in Sarasota. 
um, actually went on a cruise and came back and I was 180 even after eating. Uh, but my metabolism was going and I had a lot of uh, exercise I was doing. I got to admit, this last cruise, uh, we didn't walk the track that much, a little bit. Didn't hit that gym one time. I, I did go up there because I wanted to see it. And uh, it, it, there's a door that you can, you can go there two different ways. And uh, we went in one way and went out the other to check it out. And that was it. We just looked at it. So, uh, yeah, man, getting, if you don't keep it up, you're, you're in trouble. Uh, exercise is so important. And beyond that, switching gears, it really doesn't do any good. I mean, one of you wrote in the comments, you'll never out exercise a bad diet. And I've said that myself for years. You know, I see people, they still look fat. You know, they're out walking or going to the gym. I see them in the gym every day. They don't, they don't seem to be changing. That's because it's so easy to fill the pie hole with the wrong things. And it's just too bad that uh, some of us, like me, just don't have the willpower that enjoy... Some people that are picky with the way they eat and don't like a lot of stuff, hey, they got it made. But I like everything. So healthy things and bad things. But I'll just eat everything and I eat more than a share's worth. I can eat two sandwiches, for example. I would never go order two sandwiches or two hamburgers at a restaurant, but if I put them on the grill, I make two. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. So when I'm at home, uh, you know, I make two sandwiches. I'll get that Arnold's bread out. I got four slices of bread, and I make two ham and cheese sandwiches. And I'm just hungry, and I can eat it. I love it. But I've got to do something. We've got to get control. What if I say, what did I say, we? What do I, have I got a mouse in my pocket? <laughs> That's what my friend used to say when I would say, we got to do this or that. He goes, what's this we stuff? You got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> but I'm trying. Don't give up on me. Uh, I know my chest is going to get in my arms. My arms always bounce back. I did the, uh, the triceps and the uh, biceps. Uh, at the gym with the cable machine, that's kind of an isometric because you're working it both ways, down and up. And my my arms respond right away. I mean, certain muscle groups that certain men and women have, I mean, men especially, uh, their arms. Now, the abs, oh, man, that's where I'm eating that food. And I do some sit-ups and all that. But what's that going to do? It's going to put muscle on top of a fat stomach. <laughs> But you got to you got to withdraw. You got to slide away from the table. You got to do what you got to do. So I'm doing the one end really good. If I could just get that other side of the coin uh, and watch the calorie intake, I mean, I could have this thing knocked out ten pounds off or a flatter belly. I'm not so much worried about the lbs uh, because I know that muscle does weigh more than fat. So I understand all that. Um, I still would like to see a number, you know, like 190, 195, you know, under 200, just a few pounds. I don't need to be 180 probably. Uh, I'd like to be stocky and, and muscly. I don't want to be, you know, looks like I'm anorexic, but I would like to lose um, the gut. I mean, a 34 would be an ideal waist and 36 is, it seems like I'm more of a 35, but they don't make that. So I got to buy 36s and they got a big seat in the back. And so it's very hard to find clothes when you're in between sizes. That's why I've always wanted to get in shape because I want to be like, you know, like these really skinny women that you see, they can just throw on any dress. They're like a, they're like a mannequin. They just hang anything on them because they got no, you know, fatness anywhere. They're just mannequins. There's guys like that too. Most of them are young guys. But um, if you got the genetics to be a slim man and you can wear like, you know, thin waisted pants and jeans and shirts hang on you without like your belly pushing it out and all, hey, I tip my hat to you because that's my goal. And I can get there and I will. Uh, I'm determined. But anyway, that was the video. It was all about how fat I am <laughs> and how sore I am, but how I'm going to be better after I keep crushing it.